Well guys, how's it going? Alex Grampion here. Hope you're well. Today we've got a quick video for you on the VW Scirocco. I uh, fitted the Extron's unit, doubled in unit, and today I've got a video on the accessory, which is the dual band DAB antenna. Uh, so it comes with two antennas, and one's going to go on the windscreen in front of the vehicle, and the other one's going to go at the back on the rear screen. I'm going to show you how to install both of them and how it works. Uh, thanks to this accessory, you should get a much better DAB signal even in the areas that you don't usually get a lot of signal so if there's something you're interested in turn in guys and let's get started so one of them is going to be located there as you can see we already got it uh, but now i'm going to show you obviously how i've done this because uh, this is uh the video i've already done dedicated to just the front antenna but i'm going to show you how i've guided it and how to take the covers off and obviously what you need to do to get the wire all the way to the unit right so first you need to pop this cover here you got a little cut out they get a screwdriver into and that just pops off from the clips. Uh, next step will be to pull this cover off uh, so you can pull it just from the top and the old clips and again metal clip there and a little locator that goes in there. Once this is all free as you can see that's my, where my wiring is going on top of the glove box uh, through that gap there and it comes out you can get your hand basically into the glove box and um, catch the cable halfway through and keep pushing it forward to the back of the unit. Obviously the unit needs to come out for that but yeah, once you've done this bit, we're going to remove the top cover. To remove the top cover, you need to pop the, the airbag um, cover first. So that just pops out with the plastic trim tool. Get that out of the way. And what you need to do now, you need a flat blade screwdriver. And there's a little cutout, there's a hole there that you got a metal clip that's part of this um, cover. You need to push it down. You need to push it down and at the same time as you're pushing it down you pull the cover off and the unclips uh, so get your hand behind it and pull it basically up and that comes out as you can see this is the metal clip that you push down on um, so it pops out when fitting the unit you need to make sure you leave um, it quite loose and the wiring enough of the wiring loose and the tape they got there for obviously the cover when you put the eight pillar cover back on so it doesn't damage it uh, so leave it loose and again uh, the other bit that you put onto the actual metal part uh, which is the copper once you peel off the cover there's a copper uh, stick on there basically that needs to make a contact with the metal I do recommend using a bit of sandpaper and cleaning off a little bit of a paint on the car panel just to make a better negative contact basically and obviously make sure that you stick you clean the windscreen first use a bit of brake cleaner or something just to degrease it and make sure that it sticks on properly for the better signal once that's done um, you obviously the wire goes down there and like i mentioned earlier you put it into the top part there on top it goes all along the top of the um, glove box and you'll be able to pull it from behind the unit and reach it to plug in into the unit. So once the front one is done guys, you're gonna leave the cover off anyway because the rear one's gonna be guiding. I'm gonna try and do it through the top all the way to the back and guide it the same route as this one went in. So I'll show you in a second. So basically the plan is to fit it along the rubber on the inside. I guide it all the way in, in there. I uh, guide it all the way through the same way around the window and so we're going to come out all the way at the back here uh, move it through the ceiling all the way into here and join this uh, wiring loom here and then poke the wire through there and then you pop this cover off uh, this comes out quite easily you just get a screwdriver there and push it down and it pops off as you can see just plastic clips are holding it in uh, this cover uh, they're just metal clips, the same as the other cover at the front. You literally uh, get your fingers on there or a plastic trim tool and pop it down. And that obviously opens up the access to the hole there for the wiring. Then we're going to need to fit it through. Uh, this cover the same, get a plastic trim tool, pop it off. Sometimes they can be quite tight, but yeah, again, there's those uh, metal shims that hold it in there. So just pop it off of there. And then as you can see, you get the access to grab the wire afterwards. What we're going to do is I already send it this down a little bit. What we're going to do is fit the antenna actually here. And that way 
I've only got one cover to go on there and it's going to be clear, it's not going to damage anything and it's not in the way, it still looks pretty good there so this is what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stick it on there make sure you clean the screen with a bit of brake cleaner like I mentioned before, just to make sure that it sticks on properly and then from there we're going to start guiding it through so like I said, if you peel the white cover off, you got the copper there that you need to make sure that makes contact there put on the edge so we've got enough of free space there for when the cover goes on and then peel the cover they got here without damaging it and try and get that straight with enough gap for the cover to go on that looks pretty good to me Nice and straight, that's it. Obviously if you want it in the middle, put it in the middle, it's up to you. I've done it this way, uh, so the wire literally just goes in there straight away. So what we need to do now is unwind all the wiring, straighten it up a little bit, and then you can guide it through and push it through the rubber bit there right guys so fitting it through you literally just fight with the rubber until it goes all the way through and then I need to reassemble the cover that popped off from the bottom there just to make it a bit easier so it just clips back in there so we can lock in it proper that's, that's perfect you can use a bit of WD-40 inside the rubber if you want to help you guide the cable through, make it easier. So basically you pull all the cable through. This is basically like a rear dash cam installation. Getting the wire through. Right, at this point you can put this cover back on, make sure all the clips are on there. Also clipped in. So what we're going to be doing now is guiding it between the ceiling and the plastic covers, pushing the wire in. It's nice and easy. You can use, the you can use a plastic trim tool and just fit it in there all around. So that's all in. That's all done. Basically, at this point, I can put the top cover on. Now here at the back is up to you. You can either go full on and take the covers off and guide it all the way down there around there and then go all the way down through the floor and then come up in my case like i said i left the cover off there because i'm going to be pushing it all the way to the back there at the top fitting it in i'll use the plastic trim tomorrow afterwards to make it look a bit better but as you can see it's nice and easy literally not much effort pushing the cable in is just a bit hard with just one hand but yeah, just tuck it in in there basically. Keep pushing it in. I'll tuck it all in with both of my hands in a second and then come out into the rubber here. All right guys, I do apologize for a bit of noise, got people working on site, but as you can see the cable come out there, I'll avoid the airbag because we've got it at the bottom. Put cable tie there, avoiding the hole. Another cable, that I a cable tie there avoiding them clips and another cable tie there to join the other wire going down from the other antenna at this point we can put the cover back on and reassemble everything on the side here as you can see uh, how I took it off just obviously reverse order put it back on right guys so now at this point uh, we need to pop the cover off and take the unit out which is not too bad at all just pop it off of there I uh, obviously seen my video on how I've done it before. Just be careful with the clips. Just use plastic trim tool to avoid damaging anything and scratching. Pop everything off of there. There we are. 
Now obviously remove the unit. So now that all the screws are out guys, pull the unit out. Just be careful with the wiring. Obviously we have got our USB connectors here. I got the single one here, as you might have seen already in my previous video on this unit. Uh, so just be careful not to damage the screen. I'm just gonna pull it out of the way. Uh, so here we got already, I know it looks a bit messy, but here we got the cable that's from the front antenna. And I'm literally just about to catch the cable that fed through the glove box. So here we are, that's the rear one. That's the front one. And now you can see, this is our unit. Like I said, link is in the description below. It comes with the USB cable that you plug into the uh, back of the unit. And now here at the top, we've got two connections for the antennas. It doesn't matter which way you go, basically. So one in there, it clips in. And the other one in there. So that's that. And now, obviously, fit the wire in there, and we can plug in into our USB connector. There we are, it's connected. Make sure it's plugged in properly so it doesn't disconnect when you fit the unit back in there. Just make sure the connections are fine. And now we can put all of that back in there. out of the way and fit the unit back in obviously put four screws back in the cover back on at this point it should work you shouldn't have any issues uh, we need to put all the covers uh, for the wiring back in as well right screws all back in now I just need to push the cover back on as well clip that all in so as you can see all the wires fed through there guys it's nice and tidy there uh, now we just need to slide that back on she goes behind the rubber and clips in into the locator lovely jubbly that's in there and now all we have to do is put this cover back on right guys so ignition on um let's let the unit come on and set up everything i uh, have unplugged unfortunately the power uh, cable when I install the unit, that's why it's taking a bit longer to start up, but yeah, ignition is on and I was literally, just with one antenna plugged in, I was getting one bar here because I'm obviously in basically in the woods uh, in the middle of the farm, the signal's really bad here I already got a signal, it's really good I actually got two bars already, obviously this is radio one extra there you go, we got three bars, that's brilliant, so that's much better already with two antennas plugged in and like I said, I will have a bad signal here and usually I don't really get the AB here. And that is all working. Potato. Spaghetti. The quality is brilliant. Ah. So, so good. What I do recommend doing, I'm not going to play any music on here because obviously of copyrights and I don't want um, getting uh, complaints from, from YouTube. Uh, so what I would recommend doing is going through the search button there to find all the channels now they've got a full uh, better signal obviously and they're going to scan it all and put all the channels on there uh, now what i will mention guys is the uh, controls on the db radio the power up and down buttons work but the change station buttons don't work unfortunately on the dmb for some reason on the app it might be me doing something wrong but yeah unfortunately that doesn't change on your steering wheel so you have to press it on here uh, but yeah as you can see it's just going through all the scanning and going to find all the stations for me Right guys, so here we are. I hope you enjoyed the video, find it helpful. So this is, like I said, a video on the dual antenna uh, for the Extron's DAB Plus. Uh, the link is in the description below. You also got 15% off code there uh, from me, which will help you out. And like I said, you can use this video also if you're installing just one uh, DAB antenna on the front or the rear. And yeah, I hope you find it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give us a subscribe, please. Comment below and like the video. See you soon. Bye.